Yeah, this is me, Mark. I've been here again today. Well, apparently a couple of days ago, they had a simulation emergency exercise where men armed with, you know, mock guns, and I hope they were mock cutlasses, invaded the Springer Memorial School on Government Hill, and it caused real panic and thing because it was a simulation exercise, and I guess the students did not know about it, because then if you know about it, you would not be reacting in the correct way, apparently, so it seemed. I don't know who come up with the idea for it. And you see me, market vendor, I am not going to be a naysayer. I must tell you, I got mixed emotions and mixed feelings about it. Like, why did you choose the Springer Memorial School for this exercise? How many people did know it? Did we factor in the point that a lot of the children might get panic attacks, that these days a lot of children are suffer with asthma and so on, and therefore you could have triggered an attack that could have lead to a medical emergency and a real one. Why is school? Now, is it that we mimicking the United States thing where in America, you know, that's where most of the assaults has take place? Why not, for example, grant the Adams Airport or the Bridgetown Port? Why not the Ministry of Education? You understand? Or why not the University of the West Indies? I don't know. You see me, market vendor, I think it is a good exercise to have. But whether the school is the right place to have had it, it has a different thing altogether. I suppose if your child goes to school there, you ain't going to feel too good about that. But at the same time, we want the children to be protected when they go to school. Now, as long as the school got open gates and fencing that you could easily penetrate, and you got open playing fields and so on, you know, the mobile system is different from the American system altogether. Because, you know, when you go to school in America, you're sure if you're coming back home in the afternoon, based on all of the mass shootings and killings that take place over there. But that is not the culture about here. So he got market vendor wondering and scratching the head and wondering about it now. But why this particular school? Why not a rural one? Why not, you know, Harrison College or Queen's College or St. Michael's? You know, why, you, you, you understand where the vendor coming from? I got a little confused and a little unsure about it because I'm concerned about the young people. Cutlasses, I mean, coming through with cutlasses were lost. I really hope that them was mock cutlasses too as well. I am only a market vendor, and I'm sure that this here going to cause enough debate, and a lot of people going to be pro, and a lot of people going to be con. Some for it, some going to be against it. But I feel like that there should have been perpetrated by adults rather than young people. You know, maybe the ministry would have been a good place to start, hmm? or some other ministry, you know, where yeah, people might be seen to be loitering. <laughs> I'm only a market vendor. Perspective boy, I want to hear when I pun it. Market vendor gone for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. As I say, I got mixed emotions about it. So maybe yours are not mixed. I gone for now. Have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend. You hear? Yeah. <laughs>